Hello, this is Paul with Logics Mag Magazine, and today we're going to discover that POCs are everywhere. It's really exciting to see the really diverse applications of programmable logic controllers. And more importantly, is what the, you're going to be able to discover that you could go to the stars, you could go to the bottom of the ocean, and you can literally take your skills anywhere across the globe and work in all kinds of exciting and interesting industries, all because you know how to program a PLC. And we're going to get started right now. This is going to be a fun one, and it, it, I'm excited about this. So today, and I read about this some time ago, but we're going to go through this today. So something you may not have known, that the deepest dive in a submarine, that there was a PLC in that submarine. Bet you didn't know that. It's exciting. So let's take a look at this uh, at this website here. Opto 22, a controller, PLC controller. I ran a uh, automated uh, line, um, anodizing line that used an Opto 22 system. And I will say there was good things and bad things about this experience. And I won't say Opto 22 was the bad part. I just say the line needed a lot of work. But it was an interesting experience. But Opto 22, I had a good couple of years experience with that. So here, it says that in, at Opto 22, they did the Deep Sea Challenger. Well, well, in this article, it says control under eight tons of pressure, diving deep with James Cameron, right? Famous film uh, director. It's a completely hostile world, nearly seven miles beneath the ocean's surface. No light, temperatures just above freezing, and 16,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. That's Challenger Deep. Can anything live there? Can anyone survive the trip to find out? So, explorer and filmmaker James Cameron pulled together a diverse team from all over the world to make the first attempt in more than 50 years. The only solo dive ever. And they have a behind the scenes look from a key team member. All right, so in short, they used an Opto 22 processor to control many components within their sub. So I don't know all the little details, so we'll discover this together. So the team completely rethought deep sea diving. They invented a new type of uh, synthetic foam to withstand extreme conditions. They designed fluid compensated electronics for the sub's thrusters, controlled by joysticks. For the pilot, they built a steel sphere strapped to the sub's beam. They developed multiple methods for the pilot to communicate with the surface crew. So this is kind of a glance inside. So they got HMIs. We know that somewhere packed in here. There it is. See that right there? That is an Opto 22 controller, my friends. That is PLC programming right there. And that sub, seven miles. Think about this. Seven miles beneath the ocean surface. Oh, PLC programming. Well, all you're going to do is program a, a machine, right? I think not. And here's what's exciting. I got some other pretty cool places that PLCs have been used. Guys and gals, I'm telling you, imagination is your only limitation here. So this is pretty cool. This is a great. So this this website, if you want to read this article, it's info.opto22.com, Deep Sea Challenger. Look that up. I'm telling you, pretty cool, pretty cool story. And they, you know, that video and everything else here. Um, so. But the controller monitored the, uh, more than 180 systems on the sub, including batteries, depth sensors, thrusters, 3D cameras, lighting, and life support. They chose an off-the-shelf snap pack system from experienced automation manufacturer Opto22. Really good company, guys. Really good company. So Challenger Deep lies in the Pacific Ocean, 189 miles southwest of Guam. So Challenger Deep is a, must be a cavern or a, you know, it's a trench in the ocean. So a touchscreen HMI helps the sub's pilot monitor everything from battery power to oxygen levels. Even the freaking oxygen that they live with. 
systems. The snap pack system keeps the pilot informed about everything going on in the cell. So here's what they had. Joysticks, thrusters, manipulator sticks, processors, so a pack controller, serial address devices outside, analog devices, manual override, laptop, touchscreen, camera monitors. We had the, they had the whole shebang, right? So here's an example right here. Okay, so how can Opto 22 help you? They have small footprint, reliable controllers, guaranteed for life. Free pre-sales engineering, free training, free product support. So, really a great hardware uh, company. I've called their support, great tech support. Uh, I received great tech support when I needed them. So, um, anyhow, this is a great story. It's an also, no, also another great application. Things we might not have ever thought about or where we could use those skills. So that's exciting. But I got another one for you. This one's actually, I'm excited about to share this with you. This is pretty cool stuff. So what do we got? NASA using PLC programs. Oh, bet you never thought of that, did you? So NASA's space launch system, right? Um, we're going to talk about how DOFA companies automates its well lift self-propelled modular transporters using Beckhoff automation technologies. Uh, precise control and coordination of NASA space launch assembly and transport operations. So let's take a look at this thing here. So it looks like uh, NASA space launch system will be the most powerful rocket ever built, carrying the highest payload mass in history. So we, we lift self-propelled uh, modular transporters manage extreme material handling needs of NASA transporting SLS rockets and components from site to site. I mean, they got to move the rockets from site to site where they build them to where they launch them. The newest generation of WeLift's SPMTs are equipped with the DIN rail mounted Beckhoff CX2030 embedded PCs that feature a 1.5 gigahertz Intel Core i7 dual core CPUs, cool stuff, dude. That is that is cool right there. I, I look, that's a beautiful picture to me. That is awesome, right? EtherCAT Industrial Ethernet Service System serves as the I/O safety and drive bus in wheel of SPMTs. If you recall the old space shuttles, you like to remember the painstaking process of moving the shuttle out to the launch pad to a slow-moving transporter. Though the space shuttle program has come to an end, heavy-duty transporters remain a key component of NASA's spacecraft assembly and transportation. Now they're doing that uh, SpaceX kind of stuff. They're really launching civilians and, and, and government industries working together to get uh, create, you know, uh, some, some business in the space industry. Um, Dover Companies manufactures the wheel of self-propelled modular transporters, SMPTs, used by NASA's, NASA's Space Launch System program. The SPMTs are put to work in NASA's production facilities, such as the McCowd Assembly Facility in New Orleans. So, keep components of the SLS produced in MAF, such as tanks for holding liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, can, be, can weigh hundreds of tons. Large sections of these tanks must be moved throughout the assembly and manufacturing processes at MAF and, when complete, moved out to the manufacturing facility via SPMTs and cranes for packing and to, shipping to the launch site. Um, Dolphers wheel lift vehicles, 22 inches. So this is a this is pretty cool. A PC-based control platform, but what Beckhoff Automation is a core component of Dorfer's system to ensure that the wheel lift can adjust as needed according to feedback from the support fixtures and extremely expertly reposition the SPMTs as needed. So, what I've tried to tell you here and share with you is, is it's, it's, you're going to find PLCs in a lot more places than, you know, glass factories and paper mills or even concrete uh, manufacturing facilities. You can find them at the bottom, the most deepest part of the ocean and the highest points in the sky. The, the outer reaches of the universe even. It's exciting to see uh, PLCs contributing to um, such incredible endeavors.
right? So basically, if you if you learn how to PLC, uh, program a PLC, you never know how deep or how high you'll get. All right, this is exciting. Hopefully, this is some motivation for you guys. All right, so this is Paul with Logix Magazine. If you haven't subscribed to here and you want to grow your automation career in in robotics and automation and design, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have a question, leave it down below. I'll answer it. All right, and if you want to know the next one that I put out, we put out about two or three videos every single week to help you grow your automation career. Go ahead and subscribe, all right? I look forward to seeing you guys next time. This is Paul with Logix Magazine. Have a good evening, guys.